Hi, Dave Gerding from Cat Paving Products here to introduce a series of videos on our brand new operator assisted command for compaction technology. This series of video is not intended to fully replace your operation and maintenance manual. You should always read that before operating any piece of equipment. And as always, stay safe and attentive while in the cab of the machine. Now that we've recorded our area and told the system where we want it to compact, we need to tell it how we want it to compact. The command for compaction system works based off a method specification. We go into our menu, we go into our settings, into the compaction menu, and we have to give it three inputs. The first input is the number of passes. We tell it the number of passes in high amplitude, low amplitude, and off. We need to make sure that it's an even number of passes that we're inputting because the system always does its maneuver on the back end. If I try to put an odd number of passes in, in this case, too high, too low, one off, and I hit OK, the system will automatically add one off or static pass. It's important to note here how the command system will execute the compaction. The command system will always make one pass up and one pass back, two passes in the first compaction lane. It will then move over to the second compaction lane and make a pass up and a pass back, two passes. It will do that across the entire width of the compaction area. If you have input more than two passes, four for example, it will then start on the far end and come back to where you began making two passes in each compaction lane. If you input six, it will then go back across the width again, always making two passes in each compaction lane and then moving on to the next. It's important to note here while we're still on the number of passes screen that you cannot change the number of passes once you've put the machine in auto. You can overtake and manually control the vibration system, but the number of passes must remain the same after you've gone into auto. Once we've told it the correct number of passes in each of the amplitude settings, we simply press OK to save those changes and return to the compaction settings menu. Now that we've told the system the number of passes to make, we need to tell it how fast we want it to compact. We do that by entering the ground speed menu. Typical compaction happens below six kilometers per hour, around three and a half miles per hour. You notice as you change your speed, you also get an indication of your impacts per foot or your impacts per meter. Once you've input the correct speed for the job you want to complete, you simply press OK to return to the compaction settings menu. The last input we need to tell the system is how much overlap we want it to make. Most job sites require between six to 12 inches of overlap. The command system will allow you to input anywhere from zero up to half a drum width, which in this case is 42 inches. Once you've input the proper overlap required by the job, you simply press OK to return to the compaction settings menu once more. Now that we've given the command system all of the operator inputs required for compaction, we simply return to the operating screen by pressing the home button. 